don't really know how to treat you because you really don't even know how you want to be treated. That's why you allowing him to do the shit that you allow right. him to do. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you come in contact with so many fuck niggas, you just gotta have your little guard up and you gotta be hard body to these niggas because a bitch ain't, I ain't got time to be getting my feelings hurt. I never got my feelings hurt like for real, for real, like to where it just broke me down to like the core. My feelings hurt. I did, it hurt it. <laughs> Right, because she always been like a relationship type person. She done been in more. She done been in more relationships than I have been in. And I really wouldn't call that. No, we got to no, no. You have. You know. You have. I only been in one relationship. One, two, three. You done been in four relationships, Shatira. One relationship. Those were situationships that I didn't know what I was doing. This is a real But you still called, but you still was living with them. Y'all was still in a relationship. No. Y'all still did relationship shit when he wasn't. She's trying to so, involve me in something that ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay. Whatever. Now that she done grew up, she wouldn't call those relationships. Just like before I had whatever it was that I had going on before that nigga, I don't count that as my relationship. So I feel you on that. <laughs> I feel you on that, cause that nigga that I was supposedly in a relationship with, like some ye- like years ago, before this nigga, bitch, we was not in a relationship together. I was young. He, um, I don't even know how that. I don't even know how that even happened. I know I was. I was going to move in. I was moving anyways, well, and I was going. He had uh, was he paid, I paid. He said that he had paid a deposit. I was me. already going to do that shit anyways. He so he paid in. a deposit, and he, he moved in. He didn't move in after that. Like some months had done went by, he but slowly moved in. But I ain't understand that anyways because your shit there. But you always out of town, so you could have just left that shit at somebody else's house. No, but I trusted you. Boo boo. But what the fuck ever, bitch. But. That's that part of what I'll be talking about, about us. We, 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 we was out here, we had the women that don't have guidance. Women that uh, yeah, the don't guidance, have guidance. The guidance was just not there. So, bitch, yeah. I'm out here just figuring, figuring out on my own since 15, figuring it out. As life goes, as my life went, bitch, I was figuring it the fuck so out. So why you was figuring it out? Like, what, what, what you mean by that? Why I was why, figuring why it out? Because, because I don't know, my mom was well, I do know. Her ass left and went back to Georgia. <laughs> Her ass left and went back to Georgia and left me and my brother down here with my other sister. And, bitch, she got two kids of her own. Bitch, my girl is living life. She, bitch, I ain't got, I can't do shit with these two motherfuckers. (laughs) So, bitch, that led him to figure out on his own. And that led me to figure out on my own. We both went down some dark paths, but his path was way, mm, way darker than mine, friend. I ain't gonna speak on that because it ain't my business. But his shit just went, thank God. Ooh. Anyways, but uh, yeah, 15, sister got two kids. She can't really do too much because bitch, she got to take care of her household and her kids. So now what? I'm figuring it out. Now what? Older niggas got more than the little niggas that's my age, which I'm 15. What the fuck can this 15, 16 year old boy do for me? Nothing. Bitch, I need school clothes, I need money, I need my hair down, I need this, I need that. So what you gonna resort to, what you know? And they was doing shit for me, and yeah. And doing shit to her. And they weren't just giving me the money just because was I want to give it to you, but... They was molesting her. I was giving it up willingly, but since they I was underage, yeah, so that's molestation. that's that's molestation. I'm not gonna say it because I wanted to do it, but I knew you that did it w- out of necessity. Yeah, I did it because that's what I felt like I needed to do to get to what you wa- get to the shit that I needed. Because who the fuck else was doing it? Right. And mama, out of sight, out of mind. Daddy, out of sight, out of mind. Sister here, but bitch, she got her own shit going on. So therefore, I'm finna figure it out, and this is the way that I figure it out. Okay. So let me ask you this. So being that that was where you came from and mm-hmm. that's what you went through, what mm-hmm. you what you had, what you felt like you had to go through. Mm-hmm. Would you say that any of those things that happened to you haunts you or you feel guilty about it or you feel any kind of way? Guilty? I wouldn't, guilty, no, I don't feel guilty about shit that I don't ever fucking did and it don't hunt me to this day because it's like, it is what it is. But I do think about the shit and I be like, 
damn. I really was talking to this man that's like such as all these 20 plus years older than me. Like, what did the it fuck? Make, did it ever like, make it, you made me, it, it made me fit. Or dirty. Back then. Or slutty. I didn't give a fuck. It didn't make me feel nasty. It didn't make me feel slutty. It didn't make me feel like, cause bitch, I was about my shit then. But years done passed and I got older. I sit back and I done looked on them like, damn, like it made me feel less of a woman. It made me feel disgusting. It, I felt like, well, I didn't feel like I was degrading myself, but yeah, I just felt like, bitch, you did that. Don't look at me. I like, like yeah, I didn't do it. Yeah, that's how I felt. So yeah, it did make me feel that way. But back then, I didn't give a fuck about that shit. So how? Okay, I didn't. So I didn't how care. Would you say, not to cut you out, but how? What would you say helped you through getting past those feelings that you had once you did sit and you reflected on the things that you did in the past? Um, what helped you through that? Life and also having somebody in my corner that did not judge me for the shit that I have done over time and talking to me and really breaking sh breaking shit down to me like I got a thick skull mm. thick skull so bitch by that person just sitting down and breaking the shit down to me over time not just all at one time but over time over months over years bitch you done been talking to me telling me shit Something gonna motherfucking click. Y'all wanna know who that person is? She's sitting right next to me. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. I didn't her. ask her that question because I knew she, I thought she was gonna say that. I ain't. I didn't know what she was gonna say. I just <laughs> asked her that question. I asked it's her, her that uh, because we've been through just like a lot of other people in the world. We've been through so much shit, and when you don't have any guidance, especially. Not just women, just men too, because they y'all men. I think men, men be more fucked up than women. Y'all don't like to admit it, but y'all do. But uh, when you don't have no guidance, you end up going through all this stuff in life. Which so, if I feel like if you would have had the guidance there, then you could have skipped over skip that past shit. All skip of that, past because you all that bullshit because you would have known. Better, yeah. You would have knew better. So that's why I asked her that. So question. I knew. It's not that I did not know that the shit was wrong. But what else solution you have besides that? I think I think that personal opinion. But I think that it was so such a normal thing. It was. It was such a normal, and people like to sit here trying to act like that shit wasn't. It was it normal was. before my time. My before, mama was before pregnant my at time. fourteen, and her mama probably was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So it was going on long before. And they've been fucking with. Older okay. niggas. Yeah, long before that. I mean, when, when the guys that we talked to, they, what, 30, 40, what, 33 and 30? 40, No, 30, I'm talking about oh. now. I'm not oh. Man. I'm talking about now. Late, 30, what, my, late my guy 20s? is 33 and he's, what, late 28, 29, something like that, early 30s. And we roughly around, all around the same age. And they even said it. When they was in school, in high school, the girls was, they couldn't even get the high school bitches because the bitches was getting picked up by the older niggas in the cars. Yeah. So how you going to compete? You can't compete with that. So this is not something that just started. This is something that's been going on. It's more frowned upon now. if Because if, it's more publicized. Yeah. But it's it, it was so normal to us back then to the where it was like, it was just another way of life. And then not only that, we was, we was groomed to be, I made, we made a video about, it was a very short little clip, but modern prostitution. And people like to try to frown upon or try to make it seem like it's not happening. But yes, it did. So for the people that was out there and live a certain particular life and you overcame a lot of that shit, kudos to you. And bitch, yes, you deserve a fucking cookie. Bitch, you because deserve that, your flowers. That, yes, because it's hard. It's very fucking hard to go from something that you knew and that you're familiar with to a whole different train of thought and the hardest thing for you to change is your mind yeah and we've been working on that your mind can't change unless you want it to for so fucking long we've been working on that shit for so long so that's why i was um why i asked her those questions because y'all always say y'all don't really know us personally but we be having so much to say and we can speak from a lot of experience being that we are so young and it sucks that shit fucking sucks to, to be able to talk about this stuff and understand the things that we understand at the age that we are. Because, like, really, the it's average 25, I, somebody, um, a guy told me this. He was like, 
he got a daughter the same age as me and his daughter got a child of a, I mean, got a mind of a fucking 15 year old, 16, 17. Her mind is like a, her, age, her age, a fucking child. So him at talking 25? to me at 25, like she still like, do childish, um, shit. Do childish yeah. shit like Make childish decisions and right she living, her, so, she living in her age she living in her age so he was like talking to me it was like he thought i was older than what i was and i'm like because i done been through so much and we went to talking to whatever whatever and he like that's why i see the difference between you and my daughter not because like how you look and shit like that but bitch yeah you no know, you surpassed my motherfucking daughter and that's only, that was against my fucking will. So when kids be having people, everybody gonna raise their kids and feel how they feel about their kids. And this is not to say you should feel this way or I want you to feel this way. I just feel how I feel. And I don't feel like I owe my kids shit but the life that I gave you. And that's it, that's all. But as morally, I'm going to give you everything that I didn't have. That don't mean materialistic shit. That means the guidance and the structure that I did not have, I'm going to give that shit you. I'll weigh that material. That's material shit, shit any, day. any day. That's why your fucking kids out here thinking two plus two is green. Okay? But, but got on Gucci and but, yeah, Louis and Fendi and all that other Louis. extra shit. So I always said I was going to do that for my kids because, you, you know, that's the least that I could do. Because you did come into this world. You wasn't asked to be. You didn't ask to be here. But guess what? The minute, because one of my oldest daughter hit me with that, I didn't ask to be here. You had me. And I bust back with her ass. I didn't ask to be here either. My mama had me. So you so saying not, that shit to say what? Nobody asked to be here. Nobody ain't asked to be here. I don't know no fucking body who said, Mommy, please have me. Nobody asked to be here. All right? And that's the reality of the situation. And for the people who you know, do all this cutting up and carrying on for Christmas and all this other shit. Okay, that's all fine and dandy, but what are you teaching your kids at the end of the day? What kind of guidance and structure are you giving these kids? Because we come from no structure. We come from no guidance. And we we, we, we show it <laughs> real bad, right? We may sit here now today all together and shit, but at one point we was not. Mm -hmm. And we still working on getting our shit together, mm -hmm. right? So we going through our, emotion, our emotions just like everybody else. But one of the most important things that I feel like you should give your child if you don't get them nothing else is structure and fucking guidance. Right? At this time, we pretty much know right from wrong. You pretty much got a sense of what's, what's, what's good and what's not good. You know this by now. And if you don't know it, it's all over social media. You got so many different people telling you the shit that's wrong and telling you the shit that's good to where it ain't really no excuse. You got too many resources to not know something. So... The fact that we was able to, we didn't come from structure, we didn't come from a, a two-parent household. Bitch, we barely came from a one-parent household. <laughs> no motherfucking <laughs> guidance and all that shit like that. I think that... If we could do it, you could fucking do it. Hell yeah. But it gotta be in you. I always say that. I'm gonna say that. It's either in you or it's not. All right. All right. And for people who be doing all this woot woot and about their kids and all this shit, it's like this. Kids gonna be who they gonna be. They gonna follow who they gonna follow. No matter how good of a, a role model you are to them, it's either in them to want to be like you or be better than you, or they're gonna be rebellious and they're gonna do. Cause you wasn't even do. raised like that, little Richard. You was raised in the suburb. You was was not raised on that type you had of structure. You had your mama in your fucking fighting ass. and hood type of time, beefing with the different hoods. You wasn't raised on that. So what the fuck? So all that. All, all that extra shit is is the is the y'all just at this point you gotta find something else to live for because living for social media is not it. What's up, y'all? It's Smooch loves honey. I am honey. I'm Smooch, and we just wrapped up another episode of Smooch loves honey at CPG Studios. All yeah. right, if y'all looking for a studio to do your video recording. Or audio recording for our rappers and singers out there. Make sure y'all hit up oh, CPG. They do photography too. Oh, don't forget yeah. they do photography too. So make Catch sure y'all hit up people. CPG. You want somebody to look at you so bad. Anyway, make sure y'all hit up CPG Studios for all your videography needs today. Okay? Yeah. 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 And... Uh,
it's so fucked up that we didn't get to experience that childhood um you know our, our high school shit middle school prom and Mm-hmm. You know, all this stuff. We didn't get to experience that. All that shit was snatched. Going to the high that. school games and None of that. all that extra shit. Nope. Stripped Nothing. it right the fuck away. It fucking sucks. And I always tell her, we, we playing catch up because we so far behind other women who had that structure and had that guidance. And we're trying to catch, we're catching up to them. You know what I'm saying? To develop all of these, 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 these qualities that we are already supposed to possess at the age, well, at least at my age. And she, at her age, is supposed to be damn there. You know, she's getting to it. But these qualities that we're supposed to possess as women, we we just now possessing these qualities, right? And that's only because we're, we've been working so fucking hard at changing our ways and changing, you know, the way that we think about And that life. shit ain't fucking easy. And it's not easy Because once you... St- I just, I feel like when somebody be like, I don't know, that's just how I am. I'm just stuck in my ways. That just like turned me off because like, what? What the fuck you mean you just stuck in your ways? So you mean to tell me you just want to be like that forever? Okay, that's how you are, but you just want to be like that forever? Like, once a bitch say, oh, I'm just stuck in my ways, rather it's a nigga or a bitch, whatever. Like, we... We ain't nothing else to talk about. talk about because fuck you mean you just stuck in your ways. Why would you just want to be stuck in your ways? And that's why people try to gravitate towards people like us. And I I don't got no room in my life right now to be uh, uh to be the weight to hold you together to hold you. What this? I ain't got no room in my life no to be the fucking that. glue to hold your ass together. I don't. I don't have it. Shit, I'm barely holding my own motherfucking stuff together. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we're, I'm we're, still we're doing like it with our head up, our chest out. We're doing this shit, but it's like nobody gets to take credit for this. Like, my mama don't get to take credit for. It, my daddy don't get to. Take, nobody gets to take credit for this, cause this shit came from like. So much hard work, so much self development, so, so much, much tears, so much, so much, so much, so much reflecting, so much accepting and acknowledging the shit that we've done as people, uh, the things that the situations we put ourselves in. Mm-hmm. It's like so much came from that, and nobody gets to take credit for that but us. So now it's your fucking turn. Like, you got to do it. Like, all the women that's out here and you selling pussy and you, you know, a nigga can't fuck with me unless he doing this for me and he doing that for me. At some point, you're going to have to bear that burden on everything that you've done. Will you be able to live with that shit and be okay? That's the question at hand. That's what we're talking about right now. I know we do a lot of hee-hee and a lot of fucking ha-ha and shit. Because, bitch, I play a lot. Uh, I crack the fucking jokes. But... When it comes down to this life shit, it gets real serious. Cause bitch, life be life and turn you every which way but the fuck loose. And I tell my kids all the time, it's either you're going to be a fucking winner or you're going to be a fucking loser. There's no such thing as everybody. It's your choice. It's your choice. All that little play play shit they do in these damn schools. Everybody's a winner. No, Johnny lost. Johnny's a fucking loser. I won. I get the trophy and Johnny gets nothing because that's the way that the world works. When you go to the fucking Super Bowl, do the other team get a trophy too? No. The winner gets the trophy and gets the bragging rights, and that's just what it is. That's how life works. There's winners and there's losers. A lot of y'all are some fucking losers, and that's mm-hmm. just what it is. At one point, and I was a fucking loser. I always knew that I didn't want to be a loser. She was a loser, too. I know, At I one was. point. At one point, yeah. But that comes with this right here. That's why I this said I always knew I didn't want to be I a loser. I always knew that, too. I always knew that. That wasn't for me. And remember what I, what I used to tell you? It got to be more life than this. Yeah. It got to be more life than what is it? More to more life. To life. <laughs> Literally, we've been seeing more of life in like these last three years. It's been crazy. But that comes from us changing our minds, the way we think, and the people we surround ourselves with, the mm-hmm. shit that we decide to do. Like, a lot goes into that. And the more and more that you want out of life, the more and more life is going to fucking test you and throw bullshit at you. And you just got to keep on going and keep on going and keep on going. Mm-hmm. Because that self sufficiency shit. It's serious. And as women, we are fucking losing it. <laughs> losing it big time. And y'all want to be all that. I don't need a nigga and I ain't no man on it. But a man does a lot of shit for you in your life. 
Hell, my man do a lot of shit for me in my life. So is is we her man does a lot of shit for her in her life. Like so, it's not like we don't sit. We you don't. I don't say that. I don't say that. I don't need a nigga for shit. A nigga don't do shit for me. I don't, I say, don't that. say that because my man do a lot for me, and I love him for it, and I love him. And I pre and he, I appreciate you. Yeah, he's who he is. I love him for being him, and he be doing shit. So you know, it is what it is. But. At the same time, I do know and we do know that we have to be self-sufficient. You have to be able to hold shit down yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if something happens to my man, bitch, I need to be able to hold the fort down. Something happens to her man, she has to hold it down. That's what it is. A lot of bitches can't hold it down. And that's what we've been trying to tell y'all for the past, I don't fucking know how long right now. It's not about you not needing him and all this other shit. Kudos to you. Great. Awesome. But what are you going to be able to be there for him when he needs you? If he, he was to ever need you. He was there for you when you needed him. So can you return the favor? That's the question. That's the question. If shit was to ever, you know, happen, whatever, can he depend on you like he was depending on him? That's what y'all need to be asking yourselves, and that's the kind of woman that I would want. What about you? Yeah, I agree. Because we all want a man we could depend on, don't we? Yeah. And so, if I was a nigga, I want a woman that I could depend on. <laughs> it may not be financially. It may be spiritually, mentally. I don't... Hell, yeah. maybe it might be financially. I may fucked up a play. Some shit done went wrong in this business. I done lost everything or whatever the... Whatever. And that's the shit I be, I be making, I, listen, I spend every fucking waking day making sure that I can hold my fort in the fuck down. Because it ain't going to be a chance in hell that you sit over here and you look at me and it be like, baby, can you? And I, well, I don't know what we're going to do. Bitch, the fuck you mean? You don't know what we're going to do. What the fuck you been doing all this long time? Twitter your damn thumbs playing your asshole. <laughs> So that's 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 extremely <sighs> for me, uh for us is is that's important and that's something that we really don't be talking about like that. But it's for real for real. We really gotta get serious with that shit. And I just wanna come on there real quick and say that. Because y'all be acting like y'all don't understand that shit. And y'all be asking for so much and be can't give nothing. Nothing at all. You can't give nothing but a piece of ass in your and your fucking stank want, ass attitude. I don't want no ass when these these bills do and these bills do. I, I don't want. I can't that. take your ass to the motherfucking rent people. The rent twenty eight hundred. They go pay it with your ass. And them rent people gonna be like, what the fuck my money at? What the money? The light bill people rent light bill two hundred. What the fuck the my money. money at? The money. You like the money? Bitch. Y'all got some ass though. No. So with that being said, <sighs> as women, I don't know who the fuck fought for this. Which group of women back in the days fought for all of this? We should have jobs, shit. I don't know. I'm going to look it up and find out. But we're here now. And because we are here now, we have to do we have to understand that we are equally responsible for our well-being as well as his well-being mm -hmm. so he's if he's a hundred percent invested in y'all relationship and he's a hundred percent taking care of everything then you need to be a hundred percent trying to make sure that if shit go to shits you can help take care of everything I so agree. you gotta be just as equally invested with him as he is with you and if that's not what it is that you're trying to do, y'all need to reevaluate y'all situation that y'all got going on. And not only the women, but the men need to understand that the kind of woman, the caliber of woman that you're choosing to deal with. Because it's too many of y'all to get on this fucking internet and sit here, and, oh, she done did, she left me, she couldn't do, but, but, but. When that nigga was down, this, this. but did she show you any fucking trait that she was gonna hold you down if shit went left? Hell no. Nah. You don't see in red flags. You just chose to ignore that shit. Just like females. So y'all in the same boat that yeah, we in. Y'all hold y'all fucking selves accountable too, because y'all be seeing it too. Yeah, she she had no intentions on helping you. Showed you she had no intentions on helping you. Mm-hmm. 
and you still decided to you she showed you that she couldn't help you it's plenty of women out here that wait don't, she showed you that she was not willing to help you yeah she couldn't help you and she didn't even try to help you like get her shit together to attempt to try to help you she showed you that already and you still chose to be with her yep so yeah you get this shit just like they get it you getting it too you get the shit in the stick just like we do so at the end of the day, we all have to sit and evaluate the people who we decide to bring into our life and make um, these relationships with, these lifelong commitments with, having fucking kids with them and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, my shit was out of my control. Um, that's a conversation for a whole nother day. We're going to talk about that because my kids asked me, well, one of my daughters asked me, was we planned? Did you plan on having us? Or were like... So I had to have that conversation with them, and that was an interesting conversation. So I will bring that to y'all on another, um, what are we calling these? Um, get personal with Smoochie Honey. <laughs> Let's get personal. Uh, we'll come up with a nice little cute little name for it or whatever, but we could bring, I'll bring that episode to y'all another day. Mm-hmm. But um, this episode is about women and us holding ourselves accountable for the things that we do. Empowerment. Empowering ourselves and changing our ways. and Not um, saying I'm just stuck in my ways. No, ho, you're not just stuck in yeah. your ways. You, you content with what's you, going on. You can change. You can change. Only if you fucking want to. Yeah. And not... Being willing to change and broaden your horizon only keeps you in this small little box. So then you don't get to meet those men, those caliber of men that are, mm-hmm. you know, six figure guys or five figure guys or whatever the case is. It's five figures a thing. I don't know. But you, you don't get to meet those men because you're not in that. You're not in a box. You know, you're not in, you're not on a level. So you don't get to meet those different kind of men. You stuck with the ones that's, you know, you know, y'all know the ones. Cause y'all always be saying, I be, um, saying names and shit like that. when I be saying Tay Tay's and Day mm-hmm. and shit like that. So, but y'all know the ones. Okay. So y'all don't take nothing else from this episode. Let's do some accountability training. Let's do some reflecting. Let's understand the reason on why we think the way that we think. The reason why we do the shit that we do mm-hmm. so we can move forward and be better people to other people so we can live a more fulfilling life. Right? Yeah, if you be sense. a shitty person to other people, what you think the universe going to bring around to you? More shit. Yeah. Moo. Shit. Yeah. Smell it. No, bitch, you don't smell like shit in here. It smells rather <laughs> delightful, actually. <laughs> but no, this was <sighs> an episode from Smooch. Love, Love honey. honey. Christmas. This is our first Christmas in Georgia together. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. She made sure she came up here and she spent it with me. Yeah. Next year she said, fuck you, I'm going. Oh, no, I said that was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Because I was kind of feeling this. No, that was just Christmas. Thanksgiving, not oh, okay. Christmas. All right, because next Christmas we're doing big Christmas. Yeah. Okay. The whole decorating, right, you know, the normal shindy that goes yeah. on. Yeah, we're in a transition. Like, she's transitioning, I transition, I'm trying to do shit. It's a lot going on, so, you know. So we got money tied up in a lot of places. It's and a lot going on right now, so. It's like, fuck that Christmas. Next year, we can have at it. Yeah, we're going to do the whole big shebang. But... We want to give y'all this little quick little episode real quick. And we're going to go ahead and... Let this letter fly. We're going to go ahead and wrap that up. So, from Smooch Loves... Let me stop being extra. <laughs> Smooch Loves Honey. <laughs> I'm Honey. I'm Smooch. And we out. <laughs> <laughs>